All right, so welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about must have keywords for every SOC analyst resume. Let's admit the fact. The point is, it doesn't matter how good you are for a specific job role maybe, but if, you are, if your resume is not up to the mark, you are not going to go to the interview itself. So better focus on your resume. Make sure you have all the relevant keywords required for a SOC analyst job role. Without taking much time, let's get started. Let's get started. So these are the 13 must have keywords for every SOC analyst resume, okay? So we are going to start from first and up to 13. 13 this is very, very important guys to be with me till the end, okay? Let's talk about the very first keyword that you should have in your resume. You must have in your resume. It's incident response. Incident response talks about uh, is majorly focused on the SOC level two role. But uh, you even if you are applying for a level one role, you should be familiar with what uh, you know incident response process really looks like. It includes multiple steps from preparation to detection to analysis. For example, if if there is a ransomware attack, how would you isolate your machine or how would you contaminate your content, perform the containment into the network? How would you eradicate a malware from the network, perform the recovery, perform the uh, how, uh, incident report as well? So that's all covered in the incident response. Next keyword is threat hunting. Now, threat hunting can be of two types. It could be either proactive or reactive. Uh, when you do it a reactive way, it's a part of uh, incident response. But when you do it proactive, it's a dedicated work altogether. Usually in the large organization, this is handled by a dedicated team or SOC analyst level three team. Uh, they perform the proactive threat hunting, uh, you know, uh, where they use multiple frameworks as well. They use multiple, uh, uh, you know, methods as well. MITRE attack framework is also leveraged cyber kill chain processes use there are multiple tools which are used for this including velocity raptor or os query or in fact some of the latest edrs are also having this capability it involves a lot of queries and involves a lot collecting a lot of data as well let's talk about the number three which is uh, sim now sim is very very important this is the heart of the entire SOC. Security Operations Center, the heart is SOC. Uh, the, sorry, the heart is SIM, okay? So the SIM can be of Splunk, it could be IBM Q Radar, it could be of uh, Secure Nix, it could be Microsoft Sentinel, or maybe Logarithm, uh, currently it is Exabing. So you have to have either one of the SIM in your resume, or at least have this as a keyword. Even if you haven't really worked with the actual SIM, uh, make sure you do the lab practice. You, you you do some home lab with this plank. You can find some free labs, uh, free home lab set up in the link the description below. And um, have either Splunk Sim, make sure you have Sim as a keyword, or you can work with the Microsoft Sentinel as well. So these, the, these are the Sim you can get some hands-on with, even as a free or evaluation software as well. And then you need to make sure your resume has ideas intrusion detection system now it is it can be compared with the ips as well you i i could say you should also add ips as well but remember this uh that uh, every every you need to make sure ideas is there because ideas is a very important and crucial components of any cybersecurity operation it's basically collects the data monitor all the anomalous behavior in, into the network and uh, but it will not take take the action itself. Rather, it will notify the admin, the SOC analyst, to take the further action to perform the incident response, to perform perform either the threat hunting or security investigation further. There are multiple idea solution in the market. Some of them are commercial. Some of them are open source. Some of the open source product are Snort and Suricata, and. Um, uh, the, and the commercial softwares could be your EDR, your, uh, you know, Firepower is also having Snot uh, uh, Enterprise License. Checkpoint IPS is also very popular. So this can be leverage. Uh, number five is vulnerability management. 
Now, vulnerability management is a very, very important component. Usually, in most of the organization, uh, SOC team itself handle the vulnerability management. As a part of vulnerability management, you perform a vulnerability scanning and find out the vulnerabilities on certain application. You then uh, perform the vulnerability analysis, prioritize those vulnerability and assign it to the respective team. Okay. So that's the major ro job role. There are multiple tools involved with this. You have Tenable, you have Colis, you have Rapid7 software as well. So yeah, the, you must have this keywords. Next, number six is malware analysis. Although this is majorly useful for SOC analysis level two, but it is good to have this in your resume because uh, you know this is again a very, very important role because let's say you, you got an alert by saying that the file or there's a suspicious file or uh, this email got into the spam folder and now you have to analyze this email as a part of phishing analysis, right? So you have to submit this file sample, perform the analysis, uh, not by using multiple static or different tools, but you can use these some sandbox like any run or virus total to submit this malware sample and understand if it is really malicious or not. Okay. Number seven is the SOC. Of course, if you're applying for a SOC analyst role, you must have SOC as the keyword in your resume. No choice, right? Next log analysis. Now this is the, this is very, very important thing to have in your resume. Give me one second. Let me exit this. Perfect. Yeah. So log analysis is very, very important because of whatever happened in your network, if you if you have to perform security investigation, you have to look at the logs. Even when you have Splunk, right? You perform the security investigation, you practically analyze the logs. It, the logs could be from the Linux machine as the auth log. It could be syslog uh, from, the from the Linux machine or maybe Apache log or MySQL logs, you have to perform certain investigation or maybe it's a Windows log. Maybe you are analyzing the Sysmon alert. So you have to be very, very com uh, you know, comfortable with the log analysis process. You can use different tools for log analysis. One which is very common is of course Splunk for performing the uh, log analysis process, right? Next, network security. I remember network security is a wide uh, domain. I mean, there's a firewall involved. Uh, IDS, IPS also comes into the network security. DNS security is also part of network security. So make sure you have this keyword because you have to be uh, confident about what is IDS, IPS. And network security is a very common keywords used by in almost every ATS system, right? Next. Tenth is the cyber threat intelligence. So cyber threat intelligence is the very important activity in the SOC operation. Uh, you know, threat intelligence feeds. Cyber threat intelligence could be of different types. It could be strategic. It could be operational. It could be tactical. On the operational, on the sorry, on the strategic level, it is majorly consumed by the CEO's management. On the tactical level, it is majorly consumed by the SOC analysts. So it could be malicious domain or malicious IP address, command and control uh, IP address or domain as well, or maybe file sample or hash for hash value as well, right? 11th is SOAR. SOAR, if SIM is the heart of the SOC, SOAR is the brain, okay? So SOAR is very, very important because it actually uh, integrate all the security tools in the network and also orchestrate it and most important it's actually automate the security activity why it is needed because it actually uh, you know uh, bring down the overall uh, overall uh, time for any SOC analyst uh, you know uh, in a way if i tell you in the simple way it's actually uh, reduces the overhead of the network it uh, if you look at the SOC analyst they often get involved in the recurring activity very common uh, common type of activity which takes a lot of time is the phishing analysis, right? So in those situations, they tend to spend a lot of time in understanding if it's a false positive or the real alert. With uh, tools like SOAR, which, you know, automate quite a lot of things, which let's say you have an email uh, marked as um, suspicious email, right? 
So as an as a SOC analyst, I might go to that email, download the attachment, and probably you know maybe I take the sample, um, and then upload to the virus total and all those stuff. Maybe I keep it into the uh, control environment and everything. I can actually automate this with so. I can actually submit uh, this file to the virus total and get the response, or I can also perform the enrichment by itself. So it can be automated and, and it saves uh, quite a lot of time. So keyword number 12 is security monitoring. Of course, security monitoring is the integral part of it. You have to monitor Active Directory security alerts. You have to monitor Docker, Kubernetes, your SAP application, your SaaS application, your uh, you know Azure cloud infrastructure security alert. So this is very important. The most important keyword you must have in your resume, which is 13th, it's actually EDR. Make sure you have at least one EDR in your system. Uh, it could be CrowdStrike, it could be uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Sentinel One. If you haven't worked with them, it's okay, it's completely fine, but make sure you at least uh, do a lab testing. You set the, any of this EDR solution in your home lab and learn about it, and then you can add in your resume. Because if you don't have it, I mean, of course, you should have EDR as the keyword, but you should also name few of the EDR tool as well. Maybe Microsoft Defender or maybe Wazoo or Waza tool as well in your uh, in your uh, resume as well. So you have to show if as uh, you know, you have a real world experience or maybe a lab experience or you at least know what EDR is. If you are applying as a fresher, then you you can do the home lab. Uh, but if you are uh, uh, you know if you are going for a level two role, make sure you are confident about how to use that tool effectively. All right. So these are all the thirteen must have keywords for SOC analyst resume. If you have any question, do let me know in the comment section below. I would love to help you out. Thank you.